Hello and welcome to another Let's Compile video. These are videos in which I compile source code and test out programs. Today's program is Alteza, the RPG, uh, written in C++. The source code is available at my website odih.info and there's a compiler that I'm using which is dev C++ we proudly present Alteza the RPG so we implies that there was more than one maker and um, it looks like yeah there are a few people worked on this you know it was a collaboration So there's the libraries, some functions, uh, some declarations. Int is short for integer. CHR is character. That's Boolean. And so on. And because it's a text based program, they're using the cout func function which is part of um, IO stream and they wrote this I think it was back in let's have a look oh they don't say when it was written but the program is 1100 lines long and it's your typical it, it actually looks like they've gone through and sort of commented it but they haven't really described what's going on here like they've just sort of marked it out and there's an end scene which I won't which I'll scroll away from that in case you're actually thinking about playing the game because, because I don't want to spoil it for you but uh, compile there's a couple of warnings here and some stuff, but it looks like it's actually generated a executable anyway. And here it is. Alteza, a world of wonder and adventures. Okay, press enter. Once upon a time there was a cold and dark land uh, known as Alteza. This place was full of magic and wonder. The gods of this place watched over the inhabitants and would sometimes interfere with the beings that lived in this place. So we got a bit of an ancient, you know, mythology or re sort of thing happening here with, with uh, pol polytheism, I think it's called. Um, but now there has been an upset in the balance of the powers of the gods uh, now causing much ruckus with gods upset normal anarchy has taken over okay I'm going to be a mage male Rudy. Okay, well, I'm not going to surrender because that s sounds a bit dangerous. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide. You fall, a s fall to the side of the bed and. There's some waiting. So, it's got a bit of a story happening here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the first option because that seems to be the most reliable one in these situations welcome to Regor this is where a small where the small battles stop and the big battles begin the dense fog strangles the mountains with danger Enter to continue so I think I better buy a weapon at this stage and I'm just gonna get the one that it, it 
it sort of thinks I should start off with because it sounds like a sensible choice. The Basher. Rock and dirt covers your boots as you hear screaming up ahead. You take out your death scythe. You see some dry blood and remember that this is a dangerous mountain and that you must always be on guard. A high shriek bellows in your ears as you fall to your knees. An elf is attacking you. His sting blade sword is waving inches above your head. He tries to thrust it into your skull. Okay. At this stage, it, it, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make it through here, but I'm going to attack him anyway. Enemy hits for 37 damage. Yeah, I've been hurt pretty badly here. It looks like I've lost almost, uh, you know, like a, a third of my life. So, run. You continue trotting up the mountain. You're almost at the top. Oh, they oh, they repeated a word of of it. Uh, you are attacked by a three-headed beast. You combat with Tri Warrior. Well, there's no way I'm going to beat this creature, whatever it is. So I'm just going to run. Yeah, this sort of reminds me of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. You know, you got all these stats and hit points and fantasy settings and, you know. You're now at the top of the rigger looking out on Al Trezor. And there's more story here. Enter to continue. Uh, I don't know. Well, let me have a look at my stats here. Um, armor 10, death scythe, yeah, I can't really actually attack any of these because they've got way more hit points than I failed to successfully run away, well, let's just attack the guy and die, okay, I like, that, that wasn't bad, but what they could have done was they could have kept the window open to for me to be able to read about my fate. So, you know, that that seems like the the way they had a story happening and everything, it's quite good. But anyway, that's the end of this um uh let's compile video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.